Hello, hello, hello! I'm Philip Magnus, back with some more of the Banner Saga 2. Today I'm killing horse people, centaurs, or whatever their in-game name is. Honestly, I forget some of these details, I know it's annoying, but I can't help myself. Hmm. Let's move here a little bit, and let's shove an arrow inside this she-horse woman. Why do I call her she-horse? Because I'm horse racist, as you may know if you have seen last episode. If you have not, please go back and watch it. It was a lot of fun, a lot of dialogue, a lot of silly voices were made by yours truly. But you may not miss as much as if you're watching right this right now. Why? Because I finally found a way to fix my audio, to use noise reduction and all that. I actually downloaded a bunch of Adobe programs. And that has been absolutely fantastic for me. Because honestly, the Adobe... Um set of programs is just wonderful and wondrous and filled with so many options. Yes, options are always good. Um, let's see, I need a few more stars to break down this here shield. Good job, Centaur Woman. <sighs> don't you just love horse people? I know I don't. Why? Many reasons. I think I was bitten by a horse when I was a child. No, actually that didn't happen. I loved riding horses. My name, Philip, actually means lover of horses. Oh god! That was agonizing. Absolutely awful. Well, I have two dead characters right now, but they've got like a uh, baker's dozen, which would say 13. Hey! <laughs> Ah, I love English. So many funny things. So many phrases I love using. I know I should probably break shields, but honestly, I need to kill things. Horse people, to be exact. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those guys are totally trying to kill me. Which is understandable, since I have killed so many of their friends. Oh, I unlocked an achievement and got some renown for it. Excellent. It's kind of sad though that probably when I replay the game, if I don't unlock those achievements, I probably won't get all that extra renown, which is ever so useful. I think, anyway, that that may be the case. Let's see, let's see... Eight... How much... Hmm... Yeah, let's take uh, some of this guy's shields out. Good job. In general, I decided not to record the entirety of this battle because it simply would have taken too long. And so I prefer to record just the last few turns. Uh-oh. I need another star. Bit of movement and time to murder. Won't manage to kill him right off, but six points of strength damage. I'm happy with. Honestly, I I don't mind as long as blood is pouring into the ground, turning it into mud, into bloody bloody mud. And yes, I realize that I sound like some sort of psychopath, which accidentally is exactly what I am. Funny, isn't it? Good, time to end this. A very fine job to one and all. But mostly to this here guy with the gigantic shield. He is the MVP, as kids say nowadays. In other news, Donald Trump has won the presidency. An exciting day for all. And by exciting I mean to say horrifying for some. Joyous for others, of course. 
a lot of people unhappy with Hillary Clinton. And those people are very happy right now, which it's okay, I guess. I'm not an American and my opinion doesn't really seem to have a place in all of this. I have one, of course. Everyone has opinions. Oh, what? I'm, I must do that. Huh. Weird. Wow. Minus 35 vowel. Jesus, that's a lot. Well, wartime leadership. Your forces defended the lives of... Oh, good. Hmm. Injured members, plenty of them, Modlev, Gunjulf, and even Derdriu. Dadriu, Derdrie, Derdrie, let's call it her. Sorry, again being racist. <sighs> Equal rights for centaurs? I think not. Just as quick as they try to flank you, the remaining horsebone scatter. Olive looks at you and smiles. You didn't have to come for us, but I'm glad you did. Roik and Dedriu look excited, but you could be misreading them. The town, the Valking's voice rattles you. The dredge are destroying it. Everyone who can manage getting to their feet rushes into Lunda. You look at all the destruction around you, the loss of life, and try to find some meaning in it. Even before your breathing slows, an older townsman runs up shouting, Those dark spoons of the depths are destroying everything! He almost stumbles in front of you. They ruin the homes and the market. The great hall's the only thing still standing, full of the decision makers and those with money. He spits. Let it fall like the rest for all I care. Just take the rest of us with you. We'll save who we can, you tell the man. To the Great Hall. Really? I didn't get to the site? Huh. That's kind of disappointing, if I have to be honest. I was hoping to take on a decision. All right, Alette. I think it's time for you to... Ugh. I thought I had 26 renown. Oh, very well. Let's... let's see. Ivor, I think it's your turn to get a promotion. Both of these... Ivor is really very useful. Very powerful, a lot of stars. Yeah, let's do this. Another promotion, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. 14, 14. Good. Very, very good. And now we can put him in the place of Gunjulf. Um, we should probably also take Oddleaf and Derdru out. I think we could take this guy and Avent, or rather, hey, this guy is awesome. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is what we are going to go with. Unless we've got... Do we have any items we can... Yeah. What does this do, actually? Protects from death. Sure, let's protect... Skatak. Or Roik. Roik was very useful last time. Let's protect him. And this, what does this do? Two will, one armor, one string, one will. Let's give it to the puny human. Now as for the rest of them, I have absolutely no clue what they are wearing. They are two armor per turn. Useful. And what about Ivor? Did I just miss him completely? Ah, here he is. It will unrest. Two will. Much better. I never rest. Never do it. Absolutely never. I don't see the use for it. Another long battle, I suspect. But hey, we have to deal with what we have to deal with. Okay, so... I think we are going to send our people and others this way. Hmm, but how do we do this exactly? 10, 15, 10, 11. 
This one is absolutely the most annoying. These two I should be able to take out with a let quickly, if not painlessly. But this is just not a great map, is it? Yeah, let's go with this. Can we manage this way? No. We're going to go with either Androek on the right and with the rest of our characters on the left. That's what strategy feels like, I guess. Because we smart, yo! Even with their guards, the people here were still being slotted. Oh, he's got a nice dress. He's important, I bet. I expect a cutscene with him any moment now. Come on, swing at me. Or not. Hey, another guy with an axe. The last one. <laughs> this seems painful. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the sacrifice. Yeah, I think wasting will in order to take this guy's shield off is absolutely worth it. Let's move here. Why did I move that way? Because I'm trying to be disruptive. That's the only reason. Let's see then. This guy is certainly going to take a crack at my armor. Unpleasant, but expected. Now I can either swing for four. Actually four. Yeah, I'm going to take a big fat chunk of health. Sorry, strength out of this dredge. Excellent. And even better. Now, if only I could move a bit further with this guy. He... Uh-oh. Bad place. Never mind. Never mind. Now he's in a bit of trouble, honestly. But while the big dredge are busy with Ivor, I'm going to take off the slingers. He, he just keeps killing himself. I, I absolutely love it, I won't lie. See, yeah, I completely screwed myself over with this. Never mind. Let's move him here. And now I think... Ouch. Whoa. I have a sadly is primed for some massive damage. Next turn. But hey. I will make sure that it's not as massive as it could turn out to be. As it could have. Anyway. Uh, removing that shield really won't help. Not at all too much, I'm afraid. Let's see. What can we do here? Kill this guy? Yeah, sure. Why not? One less slinger. All the better for me. Yeah, I saw that coming. Let's see then. This guy is going to end himself, I'm fairly certain. So let's take the dredge's gigantic, annoying amount of shields off. Of course, I, like an absolute idiot, decided to leave a let here, which must be one of the most idiotic mistakes I have done. But hey, I'm going to burn a bit, and then I will chop this guy's head off with an axe. Ouch, that was bloody hurtful. Uh-oh. And he's down. Yeah. I could have done something to prevent this from happening, but I didn't, and that's on me completely. Uh-oh, those are nasty. Never mind, though. Time to end this one. And again, I think I placed the let incredibly stupidly. Just in a, such a stupid way. But at least this time I can actually use Mogr. And 
deal some punishment. Should have used a star here and taken a swing to finish this, but it doesn't matter anyway. Finally, Skatuk does something, other than, of course, standing in the, well, back. Yeah, I wanted to go with a strategic word, but I forgot all the strategy and all the vocabulary I have so carefully honed throughout the years. Oh, poor me. Eight for now, not as much as I would have liked, honestly. But hey, I'll take it. What you did there? No, wait. What you did there? The old man says, but his voice cracks. He stares hard at you. Good people died in those houses, and our food was looted while the well-to-do hid with fighters in that great hall. And that's who you saved! The man spits. Take them! Take those bastards with you when you go, or we'll string them up! Roark, Derdru, and Skatuk suddenly catch the man's attention, and he sneers. Do these three belong to you? I reckon the people around here would pay good coin to see them gutted. Olive looks flushed. Belong to? No. And no one is getting anyone. Getting anyone. They just helped save your town. Sorry, I don't know why Olive's voice suddenly became so dark and mysterious. Well, my dog bit one of the attackers too, but I don't let it in my ship. Keep those pets on short leashes. It's all you can do to keep Oddly from arguing with the man. She storms off, muttering things best not repeated. Yeah, I'm sure my viewers will enjoy that. Ivor and Hacken find you, but both look as tired as you feel. I am not sure how so many of us made it through that. I never expected to see horse born in my life, let alone fight them. And the dredge seemed desperate. Fighting like us, you mean? Like they've got nothing left to lose. I wasn't worried. With a great Ingvar on our side, how could we fail? Ivor looks at you and grumbles. Face it, Ivor, you're a legend. Oh, and what are you? See how you enjoy it when you get to Arberang. Let me know how you feel when others act like idiots just to be near you, Sunder Slayer. You won't be able to relieve yourself without it being an act of the gods. <laughs> That's disgusting, Ivan. But also funny. Very funny, Ivan. Or is it Ingvar? I agree. And uncomfortable. It's supposed to be a private moment. <laughs> I can laugh at the face you make. Ah, <sighs> well, I doubt anyone in the capital even knows what happened in Borsgard. Jun walks up to your group unexpectedly. Word has a way of travelling faster than any of us. Don't be surprised if the capital knows you are coming. Which reminds me, we should be figuring out what we are doing next. I agree. Unfortunately, all this fighting took a serious toll on the caravan. Lunda, or what's left of it, is defensible and will allow everyone some greatly needed rest. I won't argue with the Valka on that front. And I'm in no hurry to enter the old wood. I've heard strange things about that place. I'm sure it will be fine. Yours the Valka as everyone moves on. She looks less confident than you've ever seen her before. Ooh, another chapter. This one, the next time. <laughs> See you guys, thanks for watching. This has been fun. Most fun. Bye.